Hi, I'm Guy Walker with ComNet, and today I want to talk about selecting a PoE power supply. When designing a PoE system, the power supply is really the most important component. Why? Well, there's a lot to consider, so let's take a look at that. First of all, there are different PoE standards. There's a 15-watt standard, a 30-watt standard, but also many devices today use well beyond that standard, such as an IPPTZ that might use 60 watts of PoE. Secondly, the different size network equipment that you might use have different requirements. You might just have a simple media converter with one port of PoE. You might have a small network switch with a few ports of PoE. Or you might have a larger network switch with different capabilities such as 15 watts per port or 30 watts per port. Then you also have to take into account the powered devices. Those devices you're trying to power with PoE. Each one of those is going to have a different requirement. Indoor cameras typically use very low wattage, where outdoor cameras will use quite a bit more. So, how do you pick the right PoE power supply? Well, the first step is determining how many power devices you want to plug in to your local network device. Secondly, add up the PoE requirements for each one of those devices, and that's going to give you your, your overall PoE requirements. The third step is selecting an appropriate piece of Ethernet gear that fits those first two criteria but also keeping in mind the environment that you're going to put it into and the different mounting options you might have at that location. Now we can finally take a look at power supplies. Now ComNut offers a whole range of power supplies for PoE usage, from the simple inline power supplies for small systems like media converters, as well as having a complete range of DIN rail mounted power supplies. They range from 30 watts, 60, 120, 240, and even 480 watts of PoE power. Now let's take a look at a hypothetical situation. Let's say you want to mount six outdoor cameras coming all back to a network switch in an outdoor enclosure. Two of those cameras require 17 watts of PoE. Four of those cameras require eight watts of PoE, giving us an overall budget of 66 watts. So we know how many cameras and we know how much PoE we need. Now we can move on to the power supplies and network switch selection. We know we need at least six ports for the cameras, but I'm going to leave a little expansion room for additional devices in the future. And we also know that two of the cameras require 17 watts of PoE, so we know we need 30 watt support because it's beyond the 15 watt standard. This particular switch allows me eight ports of 30 watt support and also two gigabit ports that can be fiber or copper. So we've selected our switch, and since it's in an outdoor enclosure, we have a hardened switch, and we're going to DIN rail mount it in our enclosure. So, simple DIN rail mounting there. Now let's pick the power supply. We know we need 66 watts for the cameras themselves, so let's take a look at our product line. 30 watts, 60 watts. Now that's close, but we're going to step up to the 120 watt power supply. That's certainly enough for our 66 watts for cameras, but we also have to power the switch, so it leaves us some room for that. Also, we need to leave room for derating the power supply at hot temperatures. Any power supply, when it gets warm, it becomes less efficient and can put out less power. So this 120 watt power supply is going to solve all those problems for us and it's the right tool for the job. It's also DIN rail mounted. So we're going to go ahead and mount it right next to our switch. Once we wire it up and put it in the enclosure, we're good to go. As always, if you have questions about selecting the right power supply, feel free to contact us. And remember, ComNet is the one for all your transmission needs. Thank you.